Today I found this in my mail. I had to pay for 24 euros. This is, I suspect, Diceborn Heroes. And this is quite a thing. This game had quite a history. So let's see what's inside. The game. Finally. So this has been in development for 10 years and then it got kickstarted. I also got this little thing. And what is this? The campaign treasure pack and the cursed village SOG hero pack. So this is it. This can go away. Let's see what this is. Interesting. Never seen this before. I made a print and play, but uh, the creator also had some ideas after that. We never got the print and play of the second edition. Crystal Mausoleum, you can see the icons, they belong to a specific quest line with level 1, level 2, level 3. Um, the creator had a bit of trouble because the uh, cost of production were um, a bit higher than he anticipated and uh, the poor creator had to apply for a loan, didn't get a loan and meanwhile all the boxes <laughs> are rotting away in the Canadian uh, basement of him. Uh, well this is uh, new stuff. It's nice to see the uh, production cards, uh, new uh, character classes, the shaman is new, the acro battler is new, can become a hunter, uh, lots of lots of game play here, gem binder, I was thinking of just ditching the game due to well, the tragicness of the Kickstarter, flimsy little paper, but I think we can manage. That's this. Now go to the nice little box. I didn't pay for a drawstring back, but it's nice to see Dice Barn Heroes. Some kind of textile. It doesn't smell too bad. Um, well, useful always. Let's see. Well, this is going to not last long. Nice little. Oh, the Calicopy. These were in the print and play version. Smells okay. So, Magmite, it's me, Focus Bracer. I remember these. Nice to see. I have to order this all to make it a little bit more uh, optimized for setup. But it will be fine. Uh, okay, we have a paper with a campaign treasure box. Uh, this thick 
paper, single sides. Mm. Yeah, okay. Details. Figure it out later. A fan funded treasure pack. Yeah, you can say that again. You had to pay extra. And even then, most people didn't get their copy. Uh, and uh, as I said, I had to also pay for mine extra. But at least I have a. So this is quite a, a rare uh, specimen of games. Uh, not many people on the Earth planet that have this. Oh. These are the quests. I have to separate them. But how's the Throne of Seafair? Time pendant. Time pendant. This is a new thing. I'll figure it out later. Time paradox. Also in the print and play. So you're not missing that much, but it's still different from the print and play. For those who did bother to make it. It cost me a month to build a game box. Now, fighter, mage, mage, but this this is all the standard stuff, so I'm wondering what's in, <laughs> in the box then. Uh, it's all empty. I can only imagine now how you must feel if you only paid for this thing. Um, it's quite heavy. It's not as large as I feared, so I might actually have room to store this, but it's looking great, I mean, uh, people were very negative on the internet of the quality and uh, the whole procedure. The box itself is larger than you would like, but to be expected. Um, let's see, we have here Diceborn Heroes, the terrible manual that was full of omissions and mistakes assumed, and which version is it? Uh, yeah, well, this is a campaign achievement, and as you can see. There's no way to make notes of your campaign achievements. Um, useful, useless page of class trees, the Hall of Heroes. <coughs> I can't imagine anybody would write in this. On the other hand, would you care? Um, so, in the first version, you died. Oh, in the first version, you didn't die, but you uh, would get wounds. In this version, the, the revised version in 2018, you actually have one more turn and then you die. If you run out of attack cards. Now, we have the nice little tokens. And the board. Uh, there were complaints about that the board was too small. And indeed, it is far, far too small. Um, actually, you can print it online from online on a 3 p paper, and then you have something that you can actually use. But it's uh, nice to have. The second version is. What's the difference? Not really a difference. Both have a glossary. Some taste, I guess. We have some bounties. There's complaints about the bounties that if you were unlucky, you would never get the bounties. And well, there's an easy way around it just Milligan. That Milligan is discovered as a 
mechanism after after the the development of this game. So it's all stuff thrown together. Very nice to uh, present the game. Uh, lots and lots of cards. No. What do we have here? The monsters are organized in decks. Um, there are three monster decks. Monsters level 1, level 2, level 3, as you saw in the uh, play map. And how is this organized? The There's nothing new here. Some songs and wolf and other stuff. Monsters 2, so you suspect there is Monsters 1 and Monsters 3. No such thing. It's all thrown together. Um, where are the Monsters 1 and 3? Now here again the basic heroes. Uh, well, thinner than I would like, but they feel good. The quality is okay. No complaints about the quality. Uh, it would be not sharp enough. Uh, I don't see that here. Some cards on turn order. Okay. Nice. Uh, okay, what do we have here now? So this Chancellor's Blood, a girl and a dragon, the Raiders of Runetech. Uh, naming is different, but Runetech was in the, in the play. Wickening in the Deep, I also don't recognize this. This is supposed to give some indication of difficulty. I never, except for once, succeeded in defeating the boss. More plastic. Okay, fine. Um, what is this? The King's Secrets. Also, I don't know. So it's a nice enhancement if you are used to the print and play. A white Manor Mystery is classic one, but, um, <laughs> and the injured silver fang, and the normal silver fang. Uh, some people had to pay extra for that, I don't remember why. There is something with this monster deck, let's see. Monsters 2, ah, here are the 3 and the 1s. Okay, and so I suspect everything is there. Now the dice. They feel good. Um, I think most things that fit in the game. Well, the six looks a little bit like a nine, but there is no nine, so you have to mentally change that. Um, so they they go onto the specific abilities. So if you roll a two, you can place it here. If you roll a Five, you can place it here or here. And this uh, ability would give in your turn, so it's on uh, uh, initiative five. Um, you can do a counter. You get a shield, and uh, if, even if you are a hit, you will also always counter. So the counter does not really belong, but it's uh, becoming active for your uh, character during that turn. So it's, uh, it's not for beginners, uh, unless you have somebody that can explain the game well. So that's, a l I think, about it. I can take a look at... Oh! <laughs> there we have some nice little 
I was looking for this, the Mastermind. This is a, a hidden final boss. So if you defeat all the um, the chapters, uh, all the quest lines, then you can go and fight the Masterminds. Of course, ne never mentioned. So nice little inlay with Diceborn Heroes and lots and lots of names. Or all the poor victims of this extremely poorly run campaign. I cannot recommend uh, any uh, future games with this Keith, but who knows? Maybe we'll get better and find people that can, can actually communicate. Uh, I have to find some names here but uh, yeah it's looking great and I think I can spend quite a few evenings with this Diceborn Heroes okay uh, next time I'll show some gameplay uh, bye bye